Hey, everybody. What do? Now, I got a little secret to tell you guys. And that secret is... I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching that guy code. Okay, so that whole Geico story, I lied. Like, I didn't switch to Geico. I don't even own a car, so I can't even do it if I wanted to. Um, yeah. I do have something to tell you guys, though. Now, those that have known me through Melee and Brawl, then you guys probably know this already, but those that have seen me through Smash 4, the mid or early years of it, then this is probably new. But your boy has depression and anxiety. So that explains the lack of videos that have been being dished out on my channel. Because there's times where I just don't have no motivation. And if you don't got motivation, it's either A, you don't want to do it. Or B, if you do, it's going to come out crappy. So it's just really hard to deal with at times. I've had depression since I was like 12. And the anxiety didn't really kick until about when I hit 18, somewhere around there. And it's really hindered me, like it's just been a freaking roadblock for me to be good at things that I really enjoy doing, like drawing and forming my own smash. Like for example, right? It's like I got a tournament in six months. Six months I got a tournament. Just signed up for it and everything. Now, two, three days later, all of a sudden, I'm just thinking about it and I'm just having all these negative thoughts, like, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm not ready for it. Uh, what if I can't handle this? What if I'm not consistent with what I'm doing? What if I goof up because I'm always messing up? Like, all these thoughts just come to my head. And that usually happens when you're by yourself. When you're by yourself, yeah, you all these things just random thoughts just come to your head and you're just thinking about it. So, yeah, like, I could just be chilling, watching TV, you know, I'm all good. And then out of nowhere, But yeah, that's basically what's been going on. So that's why there hasn't been a lot of videos being dished out on a consistent basis on my channel. And I want my channel to grow. I want it to be like, I don't know, 10K. And you know, we just hype and we lit. And I'm gonna try to do that with Smash Ultimate when that one comes out. Because I know when it comes to Peach and Daisy, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be looking at me to be dishing out the content. You already know that's gonna happen. Me having depression and trying to be good at what I'm doing, especially Smash, has been really difficult, man, because there's people that they want to help you, they try to, and a depressive person, they're just always so freaking negative. And people, they get annoyed, they don't want to deal with that. Like, ah, you know what, we'll screw you then. Or they're like, you know what, well, I, I tried, I can't do anything, so just freaking leave them. And then it kind of pains your friend when they're watching you just freaking suffer. And they can't help you because they don't know what to do and also you won't let them so after years of going through that I kind of realized it and I'm like you know what when this happens to me I'm just gonna isolate and stay to myself I'm gonna just disappear for a while and whatever is going on I'm gonna just let it fade away and then we'll come back because I don't like piss people off I don't like make people sad if I do it and I don't realize it and then I start to think about it later and it hits me I get mad I get mad at myself for letting it happen, and then that even makes me more depressed. I don't like making people sad. I like to make people laugh and have a freaking good time. And I used to fight with people a lot. The Smash community is filled with freaking stupid people. And there be times when people just come at me for no reason. I ain't saying nothing, I ain't doing nothing. They'll just come at me talking nonsense. I could be streaming, I don't know, Barbie's adventure. 
and I have somebody come in that's associated with Smash Community saying that I freaking suck or, or something. I'm like, heck, I'm playing Barbie. Can I play my game? Like, what this guy do with what Smash got to do with freaking Barbie? Like, is she gonna be DLC in the future? Like, what are you doing? So back then on the freaking forums and chats and whatever, somebody says something, I will always be fighting back a thousand against one. And it actually made my depression worse because I'm just surrounded by negativity when I could just walk away from it. Now, if somebody comes up on my stream randomly or they just come at me out of nowhere talking garbage, I'm just like, I do have friends that know that I have depression and all that stuff and they're like, yo, if you need a vent, you need to talk to somebody, you need to talk to me. And this time I'm kind of hesitant of doing that because back to how I used to be, where people want to talk to me, help me out, and I was just really negative and it either annoyed them or it made them sad, depressed themselves. And it was just, it just snowballed and I was like, nah. So at time, kind of like, mm, I don't know. And when I'm in those phases where, you know, I'm in this depressive state of mind, I usually just stay to myself and do something like play video games, play the guitar. What's also been helping me as well is playing Splatoon 2. I love that game, especially the first one, so I got hooked on the second one when I got the chance. And uh, I've been trying to get really good at it. I used to have people that I play with a lot, but now... They don't really play or just, I don't even know. I have a whole bunch of people on my friends list and a majority of them is through Splatoon. And I think I only play with like maybe five, 10% of them. And that kind of like brings me down at times because I joke in the game people when I do. It's freaking fun being in the voice chat or on a team or whatever. But then usually it doesn't happen. So that's when my depression started to go down. But then I decided, like, you know what, I am going to go see if I could just find new people that I can play with and whatnot. I was looking through streams. I found two streamers who are cool as hell. They stream on a consistent basis. One of them has a voice chat. So I've been playing with her, and it's been freaking fun, man. Like, like I enjoy it. I enjoy her. She's cool. And other streamers that usually stream, I'll be playing with them and it kind of brings my depression level back down again and i've been making a lot of friends through it too most of the girls they're more motherly like and caring and sometimes all about that that cute stuff and back then i didn't have no soul and whatever like stay away from them. i'm like eh, i show no emotion now i'll be surrounded by these girls i feel more alive like my humanity has come back to me so I'm expressing myself a bit more, start to accept it, kind of blend into all that type of stuff, and it feels good. Definitely helping up my depression, man. So sometimes I just have to take the initiative, be like, you know what? Ain't nobody around to play with. I got all these people, and they don't want to play. And freak it, I'm gonna just search for people that actually do play the game a lot, man. We just gonna have a good time. I ain't gonna let this bring me down. I got to go, man. That's that. But let's not get it twisted though, I'm still manly, right? I'm still a savage, I'm still relentless. I don't put toilet seat back down, I'm bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the gist of it, all this depression and anxiety. But at the end of the day, I'm still a freaking savage. Like, I feel like depression and anxiety is just a mental trick. If you got anxiety about something, it's most likely you're not confident about it or you just haven't practiced enough at whatever it is. Like, it's taking you out of your comfort zone. So basically, if it's like, I don't know, learning to do something, just do it over and over and over. If we can fail a few times when it doesn't matter. If you fail at, oh, uh, I guess I'll use a smash example. If you're trying to learn matchup and you keep losing over and over, you're playing some cocky ass freaking person and it might make you feel some type of way, just be like, you know what? Okay, he thinks he's the, the stuff. And he's talking a lot of doo-doo, but it's not a freaking tournament. He's not gaining anything. So I might as well take this opportunity now, learn what I got to do. So that way, when it matters, and I fight people like that again, whip their ass, 
and then they gonna feel some type of way. They probably gonna feel like the way you were feeling. You got all that anxiety and, and depression hitting that freaking heart. That's basically what it is. So if it's nothing important, if failing doesn't give any negative or positive results, then just do it. Get the problems out the way now. So when it does matter, you don't have any problems. You got problems now, get it out the way. And that way, when the time comes to put on the show, whatever it is that you're doing, you ain't gonna have any. You don't gotta worry about freaking failing because all the failures is out. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing but freaking achievements all over your back, your fingers, your, your eyes, your brain, whatever it is, man. That's exactly how it is. That's exactly how I've been thinking, and it's been helping me out a lot. So I'm becoming more and more human as time freaking passes. Pretty much it for this video. Uh, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on what's been going on with me and why there be like a video train and then it just holds no video for a while this is basically it time that I'm dealing with been dealing with it for a while and I'm finally getting better and better so hopefully we'll keep this up but if there's a halt in videos you know why hopefully some of you guys can relate and also hope the video helped you if you're going through the same thing that I'm going through and maybe there might have been some pointers there to help you guys out in the process so with that said, thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers I got through my recent videos as well as my veteran subscribers. All you guys together are the savages, and I'll see y'all next time. Deuces!